Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on working with remote sensing with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and Virginia View. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. This video tutorial series builds on ongoing and previous collaborations and contributions provided by the USDA NIFA through the ADVANCE project, the National Science Foundation through the GeoTED UAS project, the Ohio State University, and the Virginia Space Grant Consortium. This video series is associated with the Remote Sensing with ArcGIS Pro second edition book. We will use Landsat 9 imagery in this series, and we'll also begin with Chapter 10. Links to resources for this video series, including free access to the textbook and to the videos for chapters 1 through 9, are available in the video description below. Remotely sensed imagery is acquired with sensors such as cameras, radar and satellite sensors, using aerial platforms such as aircraft, satellites, and more recently drones. The United States Geological Survey, or USGS, has been designated as a central clearinghouse for much of the imagery collected by the federal government. It aims to organize imagery and facilitate its distribution to the public. We can use the Earth Explorer or the National Map websites to search the USGS library of publicly available imagery, some for free and others for purchase depending on the specifics of the acquisition. In this chapter, we'll discuss some of the data available on these websites. We'll cover downloading data in the next chapter. The text covers remote sensing basics, including the electromagnetic spectrum and characteristics of imagery such as Landsat and Sentinel. You may want to read that material before proceeding with this video, as we will focus on where to acquire imagery in this video, not the characteristics of the different types of imagery. Now choose your favorite web browser and begin by opening the Earth Explorer website. The website opens in the Search Criteria screen, which we'll cover in the next chapter. For now, let's open the Datasets tab. Here we see categories of imagery data available. There are many categories here that contain extensive collections of data, and which one you use depends on your project requirements. See your text for further information. You can expand any category name to reveal the images and data available under the category, so let's expand aerial imagery, for example. You can see there are quite a few types of data found in this category. To access the metadata associated with a specific image, we can click the Information button next to the image's name. Let's check out the information for the NHAP program. You can see clicking on the Information button takes us to the website for the USGS Aeros Archive Aerial Photography National High Altitude Photography Program. There's lots of information here to explore about the image that you may be interested in. Now heading back to Earth Explorer, we can also identify the geographic region covered by an image product using the toggle coverage map icon. This highlights the areas on the map that have imagery available for the chosen product. I'm going to turn this on for NHAP. Notice when we turn this on, there's imagery for the entire United States. But if we go down and we toggle a different one, say Space Acquired Photography, this shows disconnected swaths of color where imagery is available. But because we have both turned on and these are toggles, you can see where they overlap here between those two types of imagery. So I'm going to collapse aerial imagery. We're going to look at a different collection. And let's go down, down to the bottom and expand Vegetation Monitoring. Scrolling down a little bit, let's look at the quick dry coverage. So I can toggle it on and notice we get yet another sort of semi transparent area showing its coverage on the map. Using different colors to highlight those coverage areas allows the display of multiple image locations simultaneously, and that will help you determine what images are available for a specific project. As you might expect, Landsat images are available under the Landsat category, which we'll discuss in the next chapter. We'll be using Earth Explorer in this video series, but some remotely sensed data is also available from the National Map Download website. And this includes imagery and data types such as elevation, LIDAR, IFSAR, and U.S. topographic maps. It even includes historical U.S. topographic maps. If you'd like to investigate further, information on using the National Map Downloader can be found at the USGS YouTube channel 
Now that we know where to obtain imagery data, we'll provide step-by-step -step instructions on downloading Landsat 9 imagery from Earth Explorer in the next chapter.